my people tell me where to go I'm not afraid to step outside and see the world for what it is now Spending all my time with people that Hold up <laughs> What are we doing in a van? I'm Benita, that's Yosh, and this is our daughter Tallulah May. We're a family of three that have been sailing around the world for the last five years on board our 40 foot sailboat Manji. We're currently back home in Australia visiting family on the sunshine coast of Queensland. We realise we may have sailed to over 10 different countries, but we're still yet to explore the east coast of our own backyard. We love living an alternative lifestyle and whilst we have become accustomed to our floating home, what better excuse to try out a different type of travel than in a tiny house with wheels. Hello van life! Just picking up the new rig. Yeah. Back to van life, back to bus life. We started out on a bus so uh, it's nice to step back into the old bed on wheels. Say bye bye! Bye bye! Come on, let's do this. Strap yourself in, love. <laughs> do you like the bus, Salula? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? You look pretty good? comfy there. Yeah, in the big girl chair. Ever since being back in Australia, we've been trying to tell ourselves that we're not going to be that dude. Not going to be that dude that says, how expensive everything is. I'm not gonna be that dude, but we just spent 300 bucks on food. You kidding me? Everything's just cost fucking heaps. Um, yeah, don't need to get anything else. Should be good. Yeah. Got myself that farmer's union I've been talking about. All right, let's sort this place out then, hey? That's better. Let's go. <laughs> well, the fruit and veg hanger didn't last very long. Gotta go sort it out. We got um, we got a little bit of a uh, a fruit a fruit mix around the place. What do you call it? A fruit salad. We got a fruit salad. too far I think the first thing that we need to do is have a van tour because all of these are designed differently and uh, they're such a small space it's a bit of a fine art trying to maximize the livability of them so this is the Renault Renault uh, DCI 150 we've got this fabulous cockpit here these seats are so comfortable there's three seats up the front with the middle one folded down and then the main area here we love the fact that they have these two extra seats here so it allows us to have Tallulah in the back seat rather than up the front with us. Um, there's lots of storage space along here, down here and also under the bed. And then we have the cooking area here, the table that pops out, isn't that just divine? It's got a huge sink and also I love the way that they've made the cutting board fit into the sink. It just really it extends the tabletop. The fridge here and also the induction top cooker in here. An inverter there with uh, lithium batteries and solar on the roof. This conspicuous little box right here is actually a toilet and we have this big beautiful double bed up the back here. So yeah, that's the space and then we have a shower. Um, a portable shower that magnifies onto the outside of the bus. So we literally have everything that we need to live in this really tiny space. We just decided to stop off for some lunch. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Yosh? I'm fishing. I just caught a mahi. Can you get us one for lunch? Yeah, it's Silver Dorado on the hook. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Claim that puppy. So being back on the road, I've actually been getting stuck into this little fishing game. Not being on Nanji, I'm looking for things that I can do that remind me of Nanji. So I've been fishing. So since we haven't been able to sail to South Africa, I figure I might as well go fishing over there. Cape Town, you look beautiful and I can't wait to get there, guys. Amazing place. First, let's just catch the big dogs. What do you got in your waters? Just get him on the trawl. Oh yeah, strike that puppy. Work it, baby, work it, baby, work it, baby. Build up that bonus time. Land the big dogs. Oh yeah, the boys. That's a Sally. I catch Sally's on Nanji. I catch Sally's on the phone. 
Oh yeah, claim that big dog. Give us some rewards. This game has great graphics and you can travel around the world to fish in different locations from a kayak on the River Murray to a boat in the Galapagos Islands. You can then take part in weekly competitions to help build up your skills and also battle it out one-on-one -on -one with other players online. So I have been having a bit of fun playing this fishing games. If you want to download Fishing Clash, use the QR code right here or there's a link in the description below. You will be helping to support our videos. If you use the promo code FISHWITHNANJI inside the app, that's FISHWITHNANJI, you'll get yourself a three-star rod, a bigger lure to catch some mahi and some other upgrades which will help you catch the bigger fish. All of that's 20 bucks. So you will be helping to support our videos, so head over and download the game, it is super fun. There's no disguise in how I feel Whenever I'm with you I've waited till the moment's right To look into the Good morning and welcome to Van Life. What a wake up! I know, how nice is it just rolling out the door and walking 50 metres and uh, we're right on the beach here. And you forget in Australia how big this joint is because yeah. This beach just goes on for miles and miles yeah. and there's no one here. I mean, we spent the last few years around uh, very small islands in Indonesia, which you can walk around. So seeing this massive expanse of um, beautiful beach is incredible. It's definitely a bit different. Wouldn't have thought we'd get a culture shock coming home to, <laughs> to Australia. Yeah. It definitely feels a bit that way. Yeah, we just love the landscape. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, so van life's a little bit different than boat life. Uh, but it's a bit of a smaller space, but it's still a, a, an awesome way to live. And I think it, it's smaller uh, in the living space, but you can roll the door open and just walk around. That's you know? right, so that's the massive difference. The so. boat, you can't just step off. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we've had our morning, morning swim, we've had our rinse. I guess that's the exact same as boat life. We have a salty shower on the boat. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and now we need to figure out what we're going to do today. But since we are on the east coast, we've never actually been along this sort of stretch of land. Uh, this is a first, so. Um, and we are in a van, and what a van lifers do, they go to Byron Bay. Yeah, should we do it? Should we like, go to Byron Bay? I think we should. Let's go to Byron Bay. <laughs> so we're off to Byron today. <laughs> Let's see what all this bus is about, man. Yeah, why does everyone go there? We're so far now, we'll go sip a latte. <laughs> Maybe everyone goes there to just find out why everyone else goes there. <laughs> first things first, let's go oh, for a race. It's my turn now. Go, Mama. research it's just kind of a spur of the moment let's go to Byron Bay kind of deal we're just winging it out here Hanging it up. Um, yeah and we're just playing tourists which is really cool it's kind of fun just um, it's fun to get lost fun to get lost yeah you never know what's around the corner literally literally so Byron Bay is famous for its um, beautiful beaches it's a small town on the coast of New South Wales yeah it's also known for hippies <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hippies! For his hippies, I think back in the 70s it was a big um, big place where all the hippies went and now it still has that sort of vibe. They have a lot of music festivals there. There's a lot of um, like cafes and little shops and it's a very creative, it's a little creative hub. So this is the pass at Byron. It's a bit of a long borders way. Pretty long. It's a big fat hander. So yeah, I can see why all the oldies love it here. It's, it's beautiful. 
it's definitely a, a nice beach and a cool spot to hang out. So you can see why they are, why crew come and just chill here. Yeah, it is beautiful. So van lifers, there's a massive community. There's a lot of YouTube channels about van life. Just like sailing, there's lots of sailing channels and it's a way of life, I guess. And Byron Bay, I guess, is the epitome of influencer online Instagram of van life. And I reckon we bloody nailed it. <laughs> is that funny, Leela? You do the chicken? Can we do the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the park. Let's cook some lunch, eh? Hey? Nothing better than having a bit of a lunch with a view. Wow, veggie burger looks delicious. Thanks, Yosh. No worries, Mum. Yum. The one fault that I can say about this van is that you're not cooking with gas. I know on boats, many boats, they want to get rid of gas and they try to, to lean towards the induction cooking, but that involves a lot of solar and a lot of battery power. And this van has solar and has batteries, has a 2000 watt inverter, and then that's running the, uh, the induction cooker. But we're having a pump problem, so the pump isn't priming. And so the pump's always remaining on, and so I've had to disconnect the water pump so then I can cook. So that's the downfall of having gas. See, I think on a van, kicking around with a gas is fine, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the induction cooker. It's less space though. It is less, it takes up less space. It does take up less space. Like, but but then you need to pull it in and out all the time as well. I'm, like, I'm fine with it. You're fine with it? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> with the gas, you still have to go and turn it on. And yeah, and I reckon the on. gas would make it hotter in here as well. But, uh, yeah, cooking with gas, man. Everything has its pros and cons, and, and this is just one of them. Yeah, cooking. What do you think? Induction or gas? How do you find? I say gas. But it says induction. Well, I guess a day out in Byron isn't complete without sitting at the beach at the pass and having a surf and nearly getting your head cut off by a longboarder. <laughs> Yeah, there's just so many people, away eh? and just so many boards going everywhere. Uh, yeah, so we've definitely uh, ticked the box of surfing in the past, and we won't be doing that again. We're just on the road again, just trying to find ourselves a bit of a sneaky overnight park again, like us van lifers do. And we'll just cruise along and saw the sunset. Are you kidding me? How's this little park? Beautiful ladies. Stunning. What do you think, Lily Bag? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there's a bush turkey. There's a bush turkey. It's a push turkey! <laughs> You're watching him! <laughs> you see the push turkey? It's pretty, isn't it?
Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Got the wives. Oh yeah, dad's tan. Gackies, sunnies. Okay. Thanks, Mum. Beautiful. We got a little surprise for you this morning. We're going to uh, meet up with a friend. You may know him. Back her up, son. Back her up. Ah. Oh, it was bloody good to see Max. Max from the channel, Max and Oki. It was really nice to see him. I think we could only see him for a couple of hours because we need to take the van back. Our van life days are now over. So we'll just go back and see our friends in Mwollumbar, make sure they're all sweet. Um, say goodbye to them. Then we gotta go give the van back. Yeah, it's really sad that things are starting to wrap up. I really love, love, love traveling um, and living in anything that moves basically. So. For those that um, have followed us for a long time, you'd know that we actually lived in a bus before we lived on the boat. And so we lived in a bus for two years. We sold the bus and then bought the boat. So I love traveling by land just as much as I love traveling by water. Um, as long as the house moves, I'm happy. <laughs> oh man, the old one fill up at $140 for 72 litres. <laughs> Dude, van life is expensive. That's it, we're giving it back. <laughs> Give it back. I'm doing that, that. That's right, it's time to pack up, isn't it? Van life is over for now, so. Gonna, it's like, honestly, trying to pack up with a one year old around is very, very challenging. As soon as I put something there, she moves it there, so. We've got like an hour to get this done, thank um, goodness. Da, 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 da. Helping? Yeah, helping, aren't you? <laughs> Chalila has become a very big help these days. Hold the camera. Okay, kick out. Da. So we got these rag. <laughs> Just hold it steady. <laughs> Just back this way, that's it. Okay, Chalila. Chalila's the camera. Whoa. What are we going to do next? That's right, we're just waiting on Nan Nan now to come and pick us up in this park. So we'll meet Nan Nan in the park. Yes. Thanks for watching Legends. Remember to check out that game Fishing Clash. There's a link in the description below. Ha 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 ha